hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in today's video we are going to start a new uh, subject a new topic uh, in our discussion and the name of the subject is electrical and electronics measurement now i already uh, have a separate uh, subject which is very much in relation with this which is the sensors transducers and instrumentation uh, I have that uh, separate section but that subject is uh, basically it revolves around the instrumentation sensors transducers uh, about the various uh, uh, aspects and the concepts related to that this subject also has certain links certain connections with it okay but it is uh, uh, it has more to it okay which which separates it from the sensors transducers and instrumentation that subject so i decided not to mix the both okay and to create two separate uh, uh, playlist or two separate ways we will discuss the two subject so this electrical and electronics measurement as the name suggests it is uh, a part of electrical engineering electronics engineering instrumentation engineering and also for uh, the communication engineering students it is helpful so in this video we are going to have like just like we do with all the other uh, subjects that we discuss the first video will always be about the basic introduction to that subject okay what is the essence what is the core of the subject and then we will discuss about the various things so basic introduction to measurement so first we'll discuss what is measurement okay so i have already covered this part in that sensors transducers and instrumentation and in, while discussing that also in the introductory videos i discussed these things but still uh, we will go systematically and we'll cover all the things in a systematic way so measurement is the process of uh, comparing an unknown quantity an unknown variable unknown parameter okay with a standard or reference okay which is predetermined which is known previously and uh, this process of comparison of an unknown quantity with a known one that is called as measurement okay so this measurement it will take an instrument an apparatus a device to perform this process to co this comparison so that is called as the measuring instrument or in the basically you can call it just instrument and that's where instrumentation comes into play so like i said all these things measurement instrumentation uh, these are all interrelated and this process this comparison of the unknown magnitude with the known uh, thing it must be the results it we have to prove them that they are correct okay so this process is called as calibration now we'll discuss about calibration and the performance characteristics but simple definition of calibration is that for a particular input to an instrument the output must be fixed okay so that when you apply the same input the output will remain constant okay for the same input the output should be constant so that process is called as calibration there is more to it so the measurement this is the process of measurement then comes the measurement okay what is measurement so the unknown quantity the parameter the condition which we have to measure which we want the value of which we want to determine the magnitude of which we want to determine this is called as measurement okay it is called as the measurement variable or process variable 
that's uh, in the process control and industrial instrumentation it is called as the measurement variable or process variable so the measurement or the parameter can be anything it can be force it can be pressure it can be temperature it can be simple as mass length time anything that is the variable of interest the magnitude of which we want to know it is the unknown element okay so the very basic way to understand this measurement is uh, let us take an example in the old days when we used to uh, go to the shop to purchase or buy vegetables what the shopkeeper used to do is um, he used to balance two sides on a weighing scale okay so he used he used to have fixed weights of 1 kg or 500 grams 250 grams and he used to put it on one side and on the other side he used to put the vegetables or whatever uh, grocery items we want so when the needle on the top it used to be balanced in the balance position it means the vegetables or the grocery items whatever it is it is it matches the weight on the left side be it 1 kg be it 2 kg or 500 grams or 250 grams so here the fixed weights on one side they are the standard they are the reference the known value and the vegetables or the grocery items on the right side or whatever side it is it is the unknown uh, value we want to determine the weight of that vegetable so this is a very simple comparing uh, you know comparison technique the weighing scale fixed weights on one side unknown uh things on the right side the whatever vegetable groceries on the right side so this is a very simple example by which we can understand this measurement process now in nowadays in the instrument it is done with the help of various uh, mechanisms uh, various uh, signal conversion techniques we have we have uh, we use various sensors transducers signal conditioning techniques signal processing methods various ways to show the output so it has become a lot more sophisticated but the basic underlying principle is the same comparing uh, the unknown quantity to be measured with a reference or a standard or the known quantity so the measurement process like i said it involves these things first the measurement the unknown parameter to be measured then the reference or standard or the known quantity these two are compared in the measurement system by whatever way it depends on what type of uh, circuitry is used or uh, what the what what type of sensor is used so it depends on that and then we get the final result or output it can be in analog form or digital form it also depends on the internal circuitry of the system so this is the whole process of measurement the input signal the measurement the unknown parameter the measurement system comparison the output signal which is the measurement value now the unknown parameter the measurement the value of which we want to determine it is basically it uh, we can divide it into two categories first is the fundamental quantities and second one are the derived quantities okay the derived quantities are actually taken by manipulating the fundamental quantities in various ways we derive the uh, derived quantities so the fundamental quantities are mass length time etc and the derived quantities it can be speed velocity acceleration pressure many thing so like i said speed can be determined by the length by time velocity dl by dt same some change in length by some change in time okay then pressure is mass into acceleration again acceleration is the rate of change of velocity or it can be d square x by dt square the length double derivative of the length with respect to time 
then there are various ways in which it can be done. So, the derived quantities are obtained by manipulating the fundamental quantities with the help of various mathematical expressions, mathematical equations. So, the measurement, uh, the, the unknown parameter which we have to measure it can be divided into two categories, fundamental quantities and derived quantities. Then when we are discussing about measurement, measurement systems and the process of measurement, we also have to discuss about instrumentation because it is the instrument, it is the device, okay, that apparatus which helps us in accomplishing the comparison, the process of measurement. It is the instrument which performs the measurement. So, it is the uh, mechanism or the process of using various devices, apparatus, instruments to measure the unknown quantity, the unknown parameter, the unknown signal and to determine its value and then as per the value to employ it in different ways to control the final output. So here it is used in process control and industrial instrumentation. So here control systems come into play and various things come into play. Now as I said in the beginning of the video, the sensors, transducers, industrial instrumentation, control systems, uh, industrial automation, process control and dynamics, the, they are all have they have closed relationships with each other, they are interrelated. Sometimes it is very hard to distinguish one from the other. But these things, okay, when we discuss about control systems, we have to discuss about sensors and transducers. We have to discuss about instrumentation. When we discuss about process control and dynamics, we have to discuss about electrical electronics and measurement and all those things. They are the background. Unless and until we understand these things, we cannot understand the other in a good way. So these are all interrelated. So these are the four blocks of this whole uh, vast subject that we have. Okay, They are the various building blocks. So, it, they have close relationship interrelated with each other. So, we will also discuss about industrial instrumentation and automation and process control and dynamics in the future. We have already started control systems and we have already discussing sensors and transducers. So, these things are all interrelated as I said. So, instrumentation is, it helps in uh, measuring the unknown signal, the unknown parameter and using that value to control the final output okay final whether it is in manufacturing sector or it in uh, the for the various uh, uh, technologies the various ways in which we can implement the same thing in packing in distribution whatever anything which involves machines instruments there we can employ all of these things, sensors, transducers, control systems, automation, process control, anything. So this is the basic introductory video which uh, I thought I should uh, you know, uh, post such that we can go into this subject of electrical and electronics measurement in a good way. So we discussed the basic concepts, the very basic concepts related to measurement and uh, also about instrumentation we discuss something so i hope you like this video and in the future videos we'll discuss more basic concepts and uh, about the various uh, in-depth aspects of electrical and electronic measurement and instrumentation so have a great day thank you very much